volunteer Aquila and a colleague from Germany. Tai va, čia jau esu penkta diena, paskutinė mano diena ir įsiminteniausias dalykas buvo, kai pačią pirmąją dieną... So this is my fifth day volunteering here, my last day. The most memorable moment was when we carried the small bird cages to the outdoor aviaries. The responsibility was quite a burden, carrying the small birds, but it was great to be able to be a part of it. Gausio gaudintės esparnius, tai stengiame žiogų priveudyti, bet labai įdaug. Most of the time we were catching grasshoppers, we actually also caught a lot of locusts, so there was quite a lot of food for the birds when there was good weather. Now the weather is a bit worse, but we are still trying to catch insects with full effort. How did you decide to volunteer with us? Curiosity itself is what brought me here. I was interested in understanding how people work in environmental conservation. What brings them to the ideas and wants that they have to protect nature? It's great to see how many people work together and work on such projects so effectively. Colleagues from Germany came to visit and observe how we are doing. On our way to the aviaries, we met one of the aquatic warbler's neighbor, a European fire-bellied toad. The times have you been in uh, in Juventus in total? In total, I think it was uh, twice probably uh -huh. only. Um, I've been more often to Nemunas Delta, where during my PhD I studied also Lithuanian aquatic warblers and compared them to our we call them Pomeranian aquatic warblers, they're living close to the Baltic Sea in uh, northwestern Poland and northeastern Germany, and there are many similarities between them. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> And what was the, what is actually the scope that you visited also Juventus like now? Now, <laughs> yeah, this time. so in the past it was more to learn about the different habitats because the the bird is very interesting and it's good to know all the different habitats and to learn more about the bird. Now the main reason is that uh, you are very successful with translocating the birds <laughs> and um, I visited the sites when it was selected for translocation. And now you have the experience of two years translocating the birds and even of one year return of birds to uh, Lithuania, which is uh, an extraordinary success. And uh, in uh, Germany and Western Poland, we are very worried about our aquatic warblers because the numbers are still decreasing. And uh, we think we manage some of the habitats rather okay and well, and we have a more suitable habitat than birds. Mm. And uh, what we also do in these countries is to restore many fen mires, fen peatlands. And there's, we think, simply not enough aquatic warblers to uh, inhabit them in, again. And uh, that's why it is so important to learn about translocation as a uh, method to bring the birds back to the restored habitats. Okay. Uh, what impressed you most or, I don't know, some facts, some, some tips uh, that were kind of uh, new or unusual or uh, surprised you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what I, what I noticed is that you um, you gained really incredible experience with it. So uh, before you uh, did this, raising the aquatic warblers here and then in the uh, Fersendick swarm boxes, cages, aviaries, um, there was only one guy in Germany who actually had raised them. Uh, and I know him quite well uh, for a long time already. He also uh, in the past influenced me a lot to continue with uh, studying aquatic warblers and trying to protect them. Um, and now you have a lot of experience uh, with them and um, what impresses me a lot is that with every step you do you always also go a step back and look at it and uh, discuss it and check it and uh, really try to find out is it is it useful, is it valid, should it be continued or should it be done in a different way. Yeah. Um, just trying to constantly improve what you're doing and um, this is very important and I mean you do not have so many chances to, to do it. You have once the, the birds um, and uh, what I feel is a very large responsibility for what you are doing. Uh, this is what I expected because I knew you before. <laughs> 
um, but still it is very very good to see and it's also a very important example for others to continue and um, before I came here I also sent an email to everybody in uh, Germany and, and Western Poland involved in future translocation and asked about questions they would have and things they want to uh, learn and I gathered some of the questions and I also know that a colleague of mine, Cosima from Germany, she will also come here yeah. in a few days also to see it because it's now the last chance to see uh, how you are doing it. And um, I'm, yeah, it was also very impressive to see the different uh, variety of food uh, you give to the birds because mm -hmm. uh, in this very early stage of a bird, it's all about food. It's, it's so important what they eat.